Good morning, everyone. Warp07 coming at you today with a little arc. Um, basically, what I want to do is show you kind of how this game works, seeing as how there's absolutely no instructions whatsoever. Um, basically, what you're going to do is you are going to start off on a planet. Uh, basically, this planet is a lot like uh, like it would be in, oh, I don't know, Minecraft. Um, and... You know, just like, I, I don't know if you've played Minecraft before, um, but, you know, Minecraft has that awesome ability to uh, start you off with absolutely nothing and then um, make you go from there. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and give you a little idea of what you need to do in order to survive at least the, the first little bits and trials of uh, the planet here on Ark. So... Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you some of the menu options first, seeing as how it is dark outside, and it is cold, but as cold outside right now, so I'm going to shut my little door. Uh, anyway, so one of the biggest problems that people have is navigating through the menu. Um, I can tell you right away when I was playing it on the Xbox One, uh, I ran into some major issues with the fact that I couldn't see the whole screen. Uh, so if you go into your options, uh, what you'll do is you come down to your uh, UI scale, um, just knock it down a bit. Uh, so you go down to where it says UI scale, um, and then you'll use your right trigger, knock it down one or two steps just to see what happens. Uh, once you're done, um, basically it's not going to adjust right away. So what you're going to do is you're going to go into apply. Once you hit apply, um, then it will adjust. So don't take it too far because you might make the screen way too small. Um, but being able to see the whole screen is definitely a plus so that you know exactly what's going on. Uh, going along with that, we've got our inventory here. Um, basically what we want to do is go into our inventory. Um, and one of the first problems that I had is if you look at the top of my screen, it says level up is available. Access inventory to apply it. I couldn't see anything else. However, when I went into my inventory, uh, there's no place where it says, hey, put your level up here. I'm like, okay, well, where the, what the hell? Okay. So anyway, if you come down here to where your stats are, your health, your stamina, stamina your oxygen, food, water, all that kind of stuff, what you're going to do is you're going to go in and you're going to uh, pick next to these plus signs, you're going to pick where you want to put that, uh, that newfound, um, I don't know, level up. So we're going to go in there, we're going to level up, and when we do that, it's going to take us to an engram area. Uh, basically, if you see up top where it says engram points are at 24, uh, basically what that tells me is I've got 24 points to go spend on things um, that I can update uh, or learn. Um, so as you can see, there's lots of things in here. Um, I've already unlocked the axe and the fire and, and all this kind of cool stuff. Um, if for some reason you back out of that and you can't, you know, you're like, oh, how do I get back there? What you're going to do is you'll go back to uh, over here where it says Ingram Points. Uh, you click on that and you'll be able to go back in. So um, you'll be able to do things like create... Um, axes, create campfires, create, uh, basically what you're going to do for your first hut if you're interested or, you know, once it's time to build a hut. Um, most people, what they do is they build thyme. So as you can see, I have like a little thyme, um, spot over there. Uh, so that's my little thyme hut. I'm going to come over here real quick because I love killing things. Stop it. Oh, uh oh. Oh, oh, oh. Whew. Boy, that was scary. I'll tell you. All right. Now, I'm going to beat it till I get everything I need out of it. Alright, and I'm going to go back into my house because I'm cold and I'm hurting. Whew, boy, that was a, that was a scary little thing. Um, one of the things I can tell you, whoops, putting out my fire. Uh, one of the things I can tell you that happens a lot is you will, uh, especially in the beginning, die um, quite a bit. It's unfortunate. It irritates me. Uh, so, anyway, we'll move around some stuff here. Do, 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 da, bong, da, da, da. 
And I've got a little crate over here. It's, I mean, if, if you play Minecraft, if you like Minecraft, this is basically like Minecraft on steroids. Um, there's a lot to it. Um, so, anyway. I'm going to take some of the spoiled meat. I don't really know what spoiled meat is for. What the heck? Oh, look. We got a little dinosaur over there, like, seriously, trying to attack my house? Seriously? What kind of dinosaur are you? It's a Dilophosaurus. Wow, that's kind of cool. You see, he's actually trying to... Oh, he's trying to break into my wall. Very nice. Okay, so... Anyway, he's going to make it a little hard for me to uh, come out here and show you what's going on, isn't he? So anyway, we'll go back into our inventory and talk about it a little bit more. Um, so, as we were talking about earlier, um, you go to your engrams, you can choose and select what you want to start to learn. Um, so, one of the first things that you learn how to do is to make a, uh, a thatch door and a thatch house. So, that was the first house that I ever built, was a small little thatch house. Um, you will freeze at night, you will starve to death, uh, lots of things like that. Um, so basically make sure that you're taking care of yourself um, you've got these little quick item slots and basically what you're gonna do is you're going to move down whatever you may need so like if I want to eat uh, I don't know, azul berries I'm going to pull them down into these areas here and then uh, as you can see down on the below parts there uh, I can use my d-pad and it pulls out my different things so um, over on your right hand side where your health meter is and your stamina and all that kind of stuff it'll tell you where you're going as far as food you can see uh, my uh, my health is going up right now because I just got done getting my butt literally whooped by a dinosaur <laughs> luckily I won that encounter um, so let's go out and look at the world what do you say oh, we're gonna shut my door uh, I guess I got stuck Thank you. Alright, we'll shut my door. Maybe I should turn off my fire, huh? What do you think? Oh, uh, what's amazing is the fact that um, your fire doesn't burn down your house. So I found that to be uh, pretty uh, uh, crazy. We'll come out here. We're going to look around. I haven't had anybody break into my house yet, but I am trying to run on kind of a more private server. So I created my own server so that I wouldn't have to worry about people coming in and stealing my stuff. That is one of the number one most pain in the neck, crazy things that happens in this game. Uh, it's pain in the neck. Uh, hey, look. There's a guy laying on the floor. Huh. That's interesting. Anyway, that's my buddy. His name is Moody. Uh, I invited him into my world, and uh, I guess when you leave the world, you just kind of are in a state of unconsciousness. So, that's a... Uh, and we'll go ahead and shut the door on him. I don't want anybody walking in there on you, buddy. So, anyway, let's go over what you're going to do at first. At first, you're going to start off in the world with nothing. Um, so you're going to be running around like, oh man, wait, this is kind of cool. Look at the world, man. There's dirt and all kinds of things. Um, just like in Minecraft, what you're going to do is you're going to use your hands. So I'm going to come over to this tree, and I'm going to use my right trigger, and I'm just going to beat the tree to death. And as you can see, it starts dropping thatch for me. Um, and it drops some wood for me. And all of a sudden, I have the ability to go in and... Uh, hopefully start making something um, so we're gonna go ahead and do it to another tree here uh, well, one little secret that I've found is that if you punch the tree you get more thatch whereas if you axe the tree you get more wood uh, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna come around and you see the stone sitting on the ground I'm gonna hit my Y button whoop and now the stone is mine um, at this point, they should probably level you up to a level 1. Level 1 will give you the ability to go in and um, basically start making things like 
hatchets. Um, where's my or pickaxe? So there's my pickaxe. Uh, they also might give you the ability to learn how to make a fire. And what those are going to do is um, basically, as I told you, you're going to go into your or you're going to go into your upgrades. You're going to click on your upgrades. Uh, if I can get down there. Oh yeah, that's right. I don't have any upgrades right now. So you're going to click on your upgrades. You're going to go into your engrams and then you're going to purchase your learn campfire um i think the pickaxe is something you just automatically get what you'll do is you'll go over to your inventory items and you'll click over on craftables um so then as you can see the ones in the white means i have the supplies i need in order to make these craftables um so i'm gonna go in there and i'm going to go ahead and pick whatever it is that i am trying to build right now i'd really like to just repair my my hatchet because i used it to beat the crap out of that dinosaur so um if you hit the y button over top of something that needs to be repaired it will repair it uh, and as i said you can go into your craftables and what you'll do is you would select whatever it is that you want to make so say i want to make a sphere i'll click on that sphere and then i'll come down to where it says craft item and i will go ahead and craft the item um, do keep in mind that your food does spoil, that your, uh, you do need water. I mean, this game's very intense as far as everything that you need, so I'm gonna come down here and see if they'll let me have some water. Look at that, my water's filling up. Oh, I'm so proud. So, um, once you start doing that, basically what you're gonna do is you're going to work on leveling yourself up, and you're gonna work on giving yourself like a thatch house and then once you have your thatch house man that dude really wants me i'm gonna come get you i'm gonna come get you come here puppy come here oh yeah stop attacking my house see yeah you see what happens when you attack my house you get your butt whooped all right so once you build your thatch house um it takes a lot of supplies this game is not like quick i mean you're not going to sit around and hurry up and get through it uh but it is a lot of fun um as you build further and further you will get more and more uh basically you will start to like right now we're building you know like i said the thatch house well then there's the wooden house and then there's the stone house and you can go from making um axes to making spears to making bow and arrows to making machine guns and rocket launchers i mean machine guns and rocket launchers what yep uh so uh something that you might not know um one of the things that might be uh just about everything in this game is, is somehow destructible or whatever uh when you start seeing these plants uh what i didn't know whenever i started playing is hey i needed food real bad and i didn't have the ability to kill anything well if you come over here and you put away your axe and you just got your hands you hit your y button and look i'm grabbing plants the great thing about grabbing plants is it adds fiber um fiber is something that you need to build a lot of different things with but it also adds a ton of berries um, and you can use the berries as your food source so that you don't get hungry uh, i'm pressing down on my d-pad again to use some of that cooked meat i have uh, i'm trying to get my my food bar back up uh if you look over to the right of the screen you can see where i've got like a weight um i've got a little water drop i've got a little food mark um basically these are just to let me know where i stand as far as these things go um so basically this is kind of a start um, I want people to come in and not be as lost as I was. I was horribly, horribly lost when I first started playing this game. Which I think is maybe some of the aspect of the game um, is to just try and try and try until you fail. Uh, or keep failing until you finally figure something out. But I found it very kind of irritating to not be able to... Um, to do anything i mean I, I died so many times i can't even tell you it was just it, it got a little ridiculous i'm not gonna lie uh oh what i do i'm trying to move these uh yeah so in order to put things in your boxes what you're going to do is you're going to click on the item um so i clicked on my charcoal and i'm going to bring it over to my my box here and i'm not real sure Maybe it's because I was just accessing the inventory. Well, they're using 9 to 15 slots. They should let me... Uh, let's see here. All right, we'll click on it again. 
There we go. Now I got 10 and 15 slots being used. Click on that, put it in there. Thank you. I'm not, like I said, I'm not real sure what the um, the spoiled meat does, to be honest with you. Uh, what you can also do is split items. So if you hit your Y button, I split it in half. I'm going to take half my flint and I'm going to stick it in there. Um, I should probably take half my fiber. And I'm going to stick it in here. But very good. And might as well take half my stones. And stick them in here. What? Very nice. Alright, well that will conclude uh, just some of the basic, uh, basic ideas that you need in order to create... Um, in order to survive right off the bat in the world so I uh, hope this is helpful um, I will be making more videos uh, I can definitely do some some playtime and whatever so if you're interested in watching me just kind of play around in arc and, and find different things and, and start gaining my bearings we can do that um, just wanted you to not be as lost as I was whenever I walked into this world it, it really, uh, it was really kind of crazy. Uh, do keep in mind that if you enter the public worlds, people can kill you, people can take your stuff, people can put your stuff into, uh, or they can raid your, your vaults, they can raid your chests. Um, so, until you're ready to really take on some, some crazy, crabby, crazy people, I would uh, definitely kind of stay away from those areas. Um, what you can do is you can just basically create a private server or a non, I, what I did was I hosted a non-dedicated um, match and that's where I'm at. So here's my little bed. Uh, I built a rather large wooden house for being a beginner. Uh, it took me quite a while. So like I said, this game does not happen quick. Um, so I hope this is helpful. There's, there's some glitchiness to it. The game's not as... Uh, as smooth as it could be but the graphics are beautiful uh, if you like minecraft and you always said man you know what minecraft would be so cool if you could do a little more um, shooter aspect wise if it was a little more realistic well here you got it man this place is beautiful check it out and I don't know if you've noticed but we keep walking past them well, let's go look at them look at that big beast of a dinosaur I don't mess with those guys yet. I have messed with some other ones, but I haven't messed with them. Um, you can always use your pickaxe to take out stone, which will give you the flint that you need in order to make a fire. Um, you can use wood as your fuel for fires, and you can use um, thatch as your fuel for fires. So definitely once you make your first pickaxe, you should be able to run around and make fires pretty easy. Uh, your, your biggest goal is to not freeze and to get some protection. So, oops, look, I pooped. Yep, that's right, I pooped. See, it says I can pick up my own poop. Everyone poops. I think we'll end on that note. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, anything that you uh, would like me to do, uh, would like to see me do in this, just let me know.